Hello, uh, this is Coriander. Um, basically, this is, uh, this is an example of Coriander, what it looks like when it goes to seed. You notice all the seeds at the bottom. And uh, basically, we, you have to bag this. So this is, this is the start of the process. Um, basically, what you do is when they're in the bags, you uh, obviously just pull these off and they'll drop to the bottom. It's such a, such a heavy mess doing coriander seeds. It has a lot of chaff in it. It's quite nasty. Um, it's really messy. And it's very expensive to process the seed. Um, not only that, uh, you'll notice I'm just taking it off. I'm leaving it in the bag uh, because it gets everywhere. And you can notice the balls falling to the bottom of the bag. Um, you lose a lot of seed if, uh, especially coriander seed, if it's not bagged while processing it like this, you know, uh, basically you do the same as dill. Uh, you can do this, uh, by hand if it's in small amounts. Okay. And if you look at it, it is just, it's a mess. Now, when you grow this in a row, uh, especially rows like 20, 30, 100 feet long, even less than that. Um, when it starts to go to seed, it looks very bad. It, it looks quite heinous. Um, basically, I had a 200 foot row of this on, a, on our farm property and it looks so bad and it grows so wicked that uh, I had a bylaw complaint and bylaw came along and said, oh, I'm not happy about that. I literally had to prove to bylaw that this is a farm product and this is actually coriander and what it looks like when it does go to seed. So when you are growing coriander to seed, uh, don't be concerned. Uh, this is actually what it looks like as it slowly goes to seed. Um, you know, it's definitely not gonna make your neighbors too happy. Uh, but this is an example of how it goes to seed and how we start our process. It's just a little tiny amount, so I can give you an example. So basically, once again, I just look for the berries. I find the berry, I'll twist it, process it. The berry falls to the bottom of the bag. And then just like the dill seed, you know, we're going to have that mass that needs to be cleaned up. Um, once and lots of chaff and everything else and after we process that um, Basically, it's going to go to a, into another bag to be cleaned um, uh, You can clean this with a machine. No problem. Uh, the berries are a little bit larger. So um, they're very uh, Easy to easy to deal with. They're also quite easily to lose so um for me, when you're starting out, I would do this all by hand, like I've been showing everybody. Just makes it a little bit easier, and then you you uh, can uh, clean it by hand. So after you process all this, um, the chaff away from the seed, you'll recycle all this stuff. Uh, it goes back in your garden, and then you'll have a little bit of chaff with your seed, and you can... Uh, Put it in your bowl and uh, I can show you at a later time how to clean this stuff properly. So it's just, just the coriander berries and then uh, and then you'll be good. So once again, this is uh, extensively dried. This is about maybe four or five months old dried. I cut off a little chunk and left it in here as an example. But you can only imagine this is just one, one plant. So a uh, person could only imagine how messy it can get. Um, and what you have to do is when you process it, uh, basically you cut it from the plant and bag it upside down. So because uh, if they get dry enough, what it is is the little, you'll lose the uh, coriander berries and it'll be just like over dried wheat. You'll basically lose more wheat berries 
in the ground than you will capturing by bagging it. So what you do is you just put the bag over top of it while it's standing up, cut the root and flip it over. And then same continually every time until you got all your coriander harvested and then obviously it lets it dry uh, by the air and then you go with this process. Okay, thank you.